Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today is a very special reunion 2020 episode. What is that? That's when I had a guest on in the past, and I liked them so much I had to bring them right on back. So today's special return guest is Mel McSherry, and she's founder and CEO over at Better Than Before. Mel, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Adam. I'm, I'm excited to, to spend more time with you. Oh, man. So uh, I'm excited to get into today's topic with you. You are definitely the woman that I want on the line for this one. So prioritizing your time in different environments. Um, mm-hmm. Before we get into that, though, I don't, I don't want to assume that all of our new listeners caught your first episode. So let's just start off with, with getting into what you're doing over at Better Than Before. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Sure. So I am an international business development coach and speaker, and I primarily work with women business owners who are exhausted and overwhelmed with everything that they think they need to do to be successful. And I slash their stress by showing them how to prioritize their time, their profit avenues, and themselves correctly so they can create the business, the money, and the life that they want in the time that they have. Oh, I love it. And, uh, and again, that's why I wanted you on the show for this topic. So prioritize, <laughs> prioritizing your time in different environments. What better than to have a prioritization coach on the line, if I can get that word out <laughs> properly. So where do you want to start with that one, Mel? You know, I, it's, it's very interesting because prioritization, uh, a lot of people don't really have a full grasp on it. A lot of people like to dumb it down to just time management or, Mm -hmm. um, you know, just goal setting. And the one thing that I really do love to explain to people and and press upon people is that prioritization is in many forms. And the reason why I say, you know, that we work on time, profit avenues, and themselves is because as business owners, it's so easy to get lost in your business um, instead of working on it. So, Helping business owners, no matter what the environment is, no matter whether that's home or you now have, you know, things have shifted in regards to who is at home, um, you always have a plan of action that is built around what you want. It's built around the time that you have. So every single day you are successful, no matter what that feels to you. And you're profitable, which to me, profitability is mentally, emotionally, and financially. So every day you can go to bed feeling profitable, successful, and the next day you can walk into your space and know exactly what, you know, the time that you have, what you have that fits within that time. So every day you are creating the business, the money, and the life that you want. Oh, my gosh, Mel. It finally just hit me what we because we were doing the warm-up, and you told me, you know, it's different, you know, if your kids are home or other things like that, and I don't have kids Mm -hmm. or any of that, so I I didn't really know. But now, and when you just said it again, it hit me. So there's one particular – um, person that I work with for a long time, and we've been having this discussion about some of the things she does for me um, and or for the work. And uh, she's she, she was explaining to me that concept of the kids being home right now and her work environment. Mm-hmm. And I didn't get it until you just now said it. <laughs> I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, I feel so bad for it. Like it's it's really hurt her productivity because she doesn't. It's different. It's a different. It's a different thing for her. Exactly, and you know, with any shift, no matter what that mm-hmm. shift is in your environment or in your workload, it's it's a it's a little bit of a grieving process, right? Because you want as a as you know, speaking kind of on her behalf, she mm-hmm. wants to be able to produce everything that she has been able to produce before in the same time in the same tenacity. And it's it's an interesting shift in a lot of things when you have this new dynamic that you have to take a step to the side and go, Okay, now what is the time that I have? Now what's on my list? And as well as communicating that to who you need to communicate that to, you know, explaining that mm-hmm. my environment is different. Therefore, I now have this amount of time. Now, this is my timeline. You know, what, does that work towards your timeline and your prioritization? And so it just, it amplifies that communication. But again, it's hard to have that communication if for yourself, you mm-hmm. don't know how to reprioritize yourself and your time with these shifts. And again, no matter what that shift is things happen all of the time whether you have control over them or not and mm-hmm. even without um major economic shifts even just little things of 
you know, you have your day set and all of a sudden your internet goes out or your car dies or your mom calls and there's something that's like, there's always going to be things that are going to quote unquote derail your day. But that doesn't mean you still don't have full say on how you spend the time that you have. So by always having things prioritized, it's just a matter of now recognizing now how much time that you have, now what priorities fit within that time. So still, no matter what that step is, you are always taking a step towards your business and towards what you want. So I know this is going to vary from person to person, but what are some of the what's one of the common you know reason or two that you feel people fall up short with prioritization? I think a lot of it has to do with, um, as I said in my in my intro, you know, I work with women who are overwhelmed with what they think they need to do. There are mm. so much advice out there, whether it's solicited or unsolicited. There's a lot of impressions going on that can be that, that can come to you through social media, through podcasts, through things like that. And it's very it can be very overwhelming to people because we feel like we have to have a certain set of skills or a certain set of tools to be the success that we think we want to be. And it's usually it's been so polluted and determined by outside factors that a lot of the people I work with actually don't even really know what they want. We do spend some time on that, on what kind of business do they want to build and how do they want to build it? And then what are the resources that you have that we can amplify that? And what are the not so much is that we can strengthen to continue to build it? So I think a lot of it has to do with just the overwhelm of information, advice, and opinions that can come to you um, in very different forms and, and avenues. Well, I mean, people can give a lot of bad advice. We already know, but we're not going to get it. We don't. We don't have time for that one today, Mel. But but that be (laughs) that being said, um, uh, final question. So, two part question. So, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about better than before, um, part one, Mm -hmm. um, what are the right types of people that are typically a great fit to work with you and your team? um, Number one, and then part two, what's the best way for them to reach out and to follow up? Yeah, so uh, we primarily work with newer business owners, so it's people who have been in their businesses anywhere from six months to about two and a half years, and you, you're you at that stage where you have thrown all the spaghetti at the wall that you can throw, and you're overextended, overwhelmed, and still broke AF. So for those of you who are truly ready to just sit down and go, okay, this is what I want out of my business, and create that, so as I said, that profitable daily um, action plan then that's what I am here to do is to help you get that business base totally solidified to where you can have a sustainable business every single day. And the best way to get a hold of me, I actually have a new website that is launching, um, which by the time I I have an amazing new website, uh, and that's at melmcsherry.com. Super easy to remember. Um, You can listen to all the rest of it. You can see all the rest of my resources, get to know me a little bit better, um, but my website is probably the best, and if you would like to as well, follow me on Instagram at Mel underscore McSherry. Um, you will, again, get to see a lot of my resources, get a lot of tips, tricks, hacks, as well as just get to know me and how I put my system, quote-unquote system, into effect every day, no matter what my environment is as a primary caregiver to an 8-year-old and, and a business owner. That's awesome. Well, Mel, really appreciate you coming on the show today uh, for this reunion 2020 episode, getting the family back together. I love it on the podcast. Um, and, and to the guests, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the comment section. I mean, love to know what kind of businesses and uh, projects that you're working on. And Mel, thanks again for coming back on the show.